Hey friends, welcome to this fertility yoga class. In this class, we're going to be addressing that fear that we have that our body is not capable of conceiving a baby, of carrying a healthy baby. So this particular class was actually a class that I created for a client of mine. So I do offer a small amount of personalized classes each month, and this is the one that I created for her. So she had recently been told that she had very low egg reserve. She had previously lost a baby at around 10 weeks, and she'd been trying for a really long time and had really just gotten to that point where she was feeling really disheartened, really like, my body is not capable of this and was really struggling to come to a place where she could trust her body again. So in today's class, that's what we're trying to create. Come back to that feeling of trust and connection with our body and trying to let go of all this information that we have about fertility that often doesn't help. Like that number, it's one of the ones that really grinds my gears because I don't know that it's helpful. I remember being sent for that myself when we were trying to conceive Luca and after it had three losses. And it came back, I had really low egg reserve. However, I personally conceive very easily. I really do think it's more important the quality than the number. And I think we really should be putting our time and energy into making sure our whole body, our whole being is the healthiest and happiest it can be, rather than worrying about these numbers and stressing about them when it's not really something we can control. It feels like an arbitrary number that just added more stress to my life than was helpful really. So I want us to let go of some of that some of that knowledge, some of that information, get into our bodies and start reconnecting and trusting again. Righto, let's get going. All right, I want you to take a seat in any way that is comfortable for you. So I like to sit up on a little cushion just so that my pelvis tips forward a little bit, but you can sit in any way that feels good for you. To start with, we're just gonna actually check in with our body or with your body. And the reason I want you to do this is because when we're on a fertility journey, we often spend a lot of the time up here in our heads and not here in our bodies. And I think it's really important and it's one of the best things that this practice can give us is that opportunity to get into your body and to forgive your body for the things that we think it's failed us on and to thank our body for all of the things it does for us. So that's what we're going to cultivate in today's class is a little bit of forgiveness and a little bit of gratitude for what our body does do for us. So just rest the hands on the legs in any way that feels good for you. And I want you to let your belly be nice and soft. So just let the belly hang on out. I'm gonna start taking some deep, full breaths in and out through the nose. And just See if you can watch the breath moving in and out of the body. So in through the nose and out through the nose, almost like an ocean wave rising and falling. You know, bring the hands to heart now. I just want you to let your mind's eye cast its gaze over all the things, all the things that have happened to you on this journey so far, good and bad, experiences that have hurt your heart in a way, experiences that have made you feel angry and hopeless, maybe a little jealous, all those times you've waited for your period or waited in hope that your period wouldn't arrive and then it did. Just let the mind's eye kind of travel over all these experiences that you've been through, your body's been through on this journey trying to conceive. Let yourself feel any of the emotions that are brought up by these visions of your experiences. So if sadness comes up, just let it be. If anger comes up, let it be. And then either 
in the mind's eye or perhaps you want to say it out loud. I want you to use the affirmation, simply I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. And just letting yourself receive this forgiveness, this permission from yourself to stop holding a grudge against your own body. Let yourself receive this forgiveness. This letting off of the hook, letting go of all these experiences that you've had, no longer needing to hold them up as examples of where you've failed. And instead, just letting them be experiences that you've had because this is what was meant to be for you. This is the journey that you need to take. And that yes, it doesn't make sense right now why it's so difficult for you and so seemingly easy for others. See if you can forgive your heart that wants to argue why and just accept that this is your journey. Forgive and accept. And then I want you to release the hands into the lap and just start taking some small circles. So we're pelvic circles here. And as we do, I want you to let the mind's eye now drift and imagine all of the things your body does for you on a daily basis. So all the things that you enjoy in your body. So maybe that's playing a certain sport that you enjoy. Maybe that's making love to your partner. Maybe it's walking in your favorite place. Maybe it's that you love doing yoga and meditation and you really enjoy that in your body. I want you to just call to mind. So imagining these pictures in your head of your body, it's gonna reverse our circles doing these things that you enjoy. Maybe it's lying in the sunshine reading a book. Maybe it's swimming in the ocean. Let yourself recognize all the amazing things that your body does for you. Let yourself feel some gratitude for these things. All right, let's take the soles of the feet together. And let the knees fall out to the side. You might want to shuffle off the cushion or the bolster if you have one underneath you. And I want you to bring that feeling of gratitude for the body into the rest of our practice today. So I want you to see if you can stick with this feeling of ah, this body of mine that does all that I ask it to do. And if and when you find yourself going into moments of, ah, but it's not able to do this. I want you to see if you can internally say, thank you for that thought, but I'm choosing to focus on what it can do. Almost like a, a little nod and a thank you to those negative thoughts, but not getting wrapped up in them. And instead coming back to, ah, I'm grateful for my body's able to sit like this. I'm able to lengthen my spine. I'm able to take a full deep breath into my body and enjoy that feeling in my body. All right, gently lean forward. We set that intention today to Come to our practice with this feeling of gratitude for the body. Good, sitting upright, moving backwards a little so that we can take the legs out wide. So it's up to you how wide your legs go. You might be a little bit tighter through the legs. So just bring them in a little bit. You should feel a nice stretch through the inner thighs. So one of the other things I want us to focus on today is also increasing circulation. So that's gonna help with overall health of the body and of the reproductive system, making sure that we're getting lots of fresh blood and energy to the ovaries, to the eggs, to help build that lining up, all these things that we need for good fertility. So we, so we wanna make sure that there's no blockages or tension or anything tightening and holding around the pelvis. So that's why we're gonna be working deeply into the inner groin, the thighs and the hips today. So I want you to also help the body with circulation by breathing deeply. So breathing into the low belly, 
feeling it fully, letting that belly hang out, so not holding any tension in that space as well. And the added bonus of breathing in this way also helps to reduce stress, which is always an issue when we're struggling to conceive. And it's always an issue in life in general, really. Life is stressful, but we need to make sure that we've got practices to reduce our stress and to deal with stress as it comes up because we can't get rid of it entirely. Good. Keep breathing here. See if you can soften the shoulders, the neck, the face. Good. And then coming up, I'm just going to move this bolster out the way so I've got some room behind me. I want you to bring the feet in front of you so they're about hip distance. And you're just going to lean the hands back. Fingers are pointing towards the feet. We're then going to take one foot over the opposite knee and just rock the leg from side to side. So you should feel a really nice stretch through this hip. See if you can soften through the shoulders, soften through the neck. So make sure that upper body is nice and comfortable and just rock those legs from side to side. Good, releasing this foot down, other side, bring the foot up and over and take a nice little rock from side to side. Good, then release the legs and come up and over into our tabletop. So set the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. And I just want you to rock and roll in your body here. I want you to stop looking to me for how to move because rocking and rolling in your body, there's no really right or wrong way to do it. And I just want you to be in your body. Trust that you can move here in a way that feels good for you. You're not going to be doing anything wrong. If it feels good, then you're doing it right. So one of the things when we start to feel like our body has failed us is coming back to the body and really putting our trust back in the body again. And that, yes, I am trusting that I know what's best for my body. Not the doctors, not anyone that you can connect with online. You, you know what's best for your body. So take the knees nice and wide, stretch the arms out in front of you, rest the forehead down. You should, should feel a nice stretch through the inner thigh and groin here. And just take a gentle rock from side to side with the head. back to center let yourself get really heavy here as you inhale come up come back up to knees supporting the body underneath the hips and then step the left foot forward come into a low lunge so I just want you to again Move around now here in a way that feels really good for your body. So if you feel quite tight in the hip, you might lean forward a little bit more. If you feel tighter through the hamstrings, you might lean back. You might just take circles around and around. So as long as you can feel it through the inner thigh and in the groin and hip, then you're doing it right. See if you can close down the eyes and just trust your body to lead you here. that foot across as we come into our pigeon so the foot can either stay so that the shin is parallel to the front of the mat or you can tuck the foot into the groin we stretch the other leg out behind us 
Now, depending on how tight your hips are, you might need something underneath this hip just to prop you up a little bit. If you can relax down, I want you to bring the hands out as wide as the edges of the mat, press in and just gently lift up. So you should get a really nice stretch through the front of this hip of the outstretched leg. If it feels good to do so, we could add a little movement here as well, opening through the heart and then softening down. Inhale as you rise. Exhale as you soften down. Like I said, if your hips are needing a bit more support, make sure you've got a roll blanket or some cushions under this hip. Otherwise you'll be feeling like, I can't move, I'm stuck in this position. You should be able to feel mostly comfortable to rest down onto your supports. And then you'll be able to add the movement through the upper body. Just really gently look over the left shoulder towards the foot. Taking your time here. And then slowly looking over the right shoulder. Coming back to center. Support the body weight with the hand as you bend that back knee. Oops, sorry, Mr. Plant. Just draw the leg in so you should be getting a nice stretch through the quad here. Maybe you can reach around and find the foot with the hand and gently press the foot into the hand to open up the chest. If this is too much, just stay with the bent knee rather than finding the foot with the hand. Breathing here. Listening to your body. So if anything doesn't feel right, Trust that your body knows best. Relax, rest, come to child's pose whenever you need. I want you to forgive your body for the things that it can't do. Trust that your body knows best. And that you Take a little rock from side to side here, feeling into the hips a little bit more. And then when you're ready to, we're gonna soften all the way down in our pigeon pose really relaxing in. So I like to make a little pillow with my hands to rest the head on so the head and neck can relax. And then I really want you to let go through the legs. So a lot of opening here, a lot of stretching. Remember you can use any props that you need. Feeling gratitude, deep, deep gratitude for what our body can do, the way our body can move. The way our body carries us through the day. When you're ready to slowly coming back up, good. Take the time to bring the back knee back in. We're gonna bring both legs together now and just rock the hips from side to side, squeezing the inner thighs together. So that's a lot of hip opening that we just did. It can feel nice to kind of recalibrate and be, bring the knees back together. Take a seat back towards the heels. Let's do a little bit of seated cat cow here. Inhale, opening the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, round, tuck the chin down towards the thighs. Inhale as we open. Exhale as we round. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's come forward again, this time the opposite leg steps forward. We come to that kneeling lunge on the opposite side. And again, rocking and rolling, closing down the eyes, trusting the body to guide us where we need to be. You might take figure eights, you might move forward and back, you might make circles. And then when you're 
you're ready to I'm gonna walk that foot across, moving into our pigeon. Maybe tucking the foot in if you did in the previous side, getting any props you need underneath that hip to support you. You take a breath and find that length. If it feels okay, you can add that movement up and down. Inhale and stay up. If you're able to, we bend that back knee, coming in for the quad stretch. Maybe if you're able to, reaching around, finding that foot with the hand, and then gently press the foot into the hand to open through the chest. Remembering to listen to your body, trust what she's saying. Rest when you need. gently release we're going to soften all the way down now so when you're ready to bring the upper body down maybe get more props underneath the chest or use the hands under the head and then see if you can allow yourself to get really heavy leaning on the supports beneath you the floor the mat your hands any props really softening down Letting go through the entire body, the head, the neck, the face, the shoulders, the muscles around the spine, the low back, the hips and legs, all parts of you soft and relaxed. to slowly coming all the way back up we can bring this back leg around now as we come to lie down on the back so I want you to gently roll the body down or support your body to come down with your arms whatever works best for you and we're coming into our bridge pose so I want you to bring the feet towards the hips you should be able to touch the heels with the fingertips so as you inhale, I want you to press the feet into the floor, slowly roll the hips all the way up. So as high as you can go here. And then exhale one vertebrae at a time all the way back down. That's it. And release the pelvis to a natural position. Once more, inhale, press into the feet, roll the hips up. We're just gonna hold here for a few breaths, gently squeezing the inner thighs in towards each other. You can stay here with the hands, or if you'd like to go a little bit further, you could interlace the hands underneath the back. And squeeze the shoulders underneath the body, so you're getting opening through the chest as well. It's gently stimulating through the thyroid as well here. Breathing deeply. Good, gently release the arms back down, release the hands and then slowly roll the body all the way back down, let the hips release. I want you to draw the knees in towards the chest and just take a little rock from side to side. 
massaging into that lower back. You could massage into the glutes as well by taking the legs a little lower, taking circles through the knees. And then reverse your circles in the opposite direction. I really want you to let the upper body soften here. So soften through the shoulders, the face, the neck, upper back, all soft. I'm just going to work with the legs for a little bit more in the inner thighs. So we're going to work into a hamstring stretch. The right leg is just going to rest with the foot on the floor. The left leg, you can either find the back of the thigh and gently pull in here. You could find the calf. You could find the foot if you're quite flexible. So wherever works for you, just gently draw that leg in. We need to keep the foot flexed to the feet, almost pointing towards the face. And just gently draw that leg in. If it feels nice, you could even give a little massage up the back of the leg. So while you notice that my leg isn't straight, I'm kind of actively working to straighten the legs. I'm getting that really nice stretch down here. So if you're just kind of here, you're getting more of a stretch in this section, whereas we want it to move all the way up the leg. We're kind of pushing the thigh away, trying to get that beautiful stretch through the hamstring. Then we're gonna find the sole of the foot. So we're doing a half happy baby. We're drawing this knee down towards the armpit so as long as you can feel the stretch now in the back of the thigh, maybe in the inner groin a little bit as well, into the hip, then you're doing it right. The other leg is working as a bit of an anchor here, just to kind of counterbalance so that we're not toppled all the way over to the left. Keep gently drawing the knee open while still squaring the hips off. Beautiful, and then I want you to cross this leg over the opposite leg. We're gonna find the feet and just squeeze them in towards the body. Squeeze them in tight, so squeezing, creating tension, and then exhale, release and soften. And we let go of the legs. Well done, just let the knees fall in towards each other. Let's take a moment here. Full deep belly breaths. A moment of gratitude for our body and all the ways that it moves us on the mat, but also through our days. Good, and then when you're ready, plant the left foot. It's gonna be our anchor as you draw the right leg in for the hamstring stretch. So again, thigh or behind the knee, calf, maybe you find the sole of the foot. And keep drawing the toes down towards the head while also pushing the thigh away so that we're keeping active through that leg. Keep the upper body nice and soft and relaxed. Keep breathing slowly and deeply. If there's only one thing you take out of a yoga class, the breath would have to be the number one thing. If you can start using the breath really consciously to calm down when you need, and that is honestly the best thing you'll get out of a yoga practice. Let's now move into our happy baby where you bend the knee, find the sole of the foot or the calf, wherever you can reach and draw the knee down and towards the armpit using this other leg as a bit of an anchor to keep the hips square. Keep the breathing slow and steady, upper body soft and relaxed. Take this leg up and over the opposite leg, cross them over, hold the feet or find the shins, 
squeeze them into the body. So we're consciously squeezing, tightening, tightening, tightening. And then relaxing. This time we're going to take them all the way out long. Finding a comfortable position here. Letting yourself get soft and heavy and completely relaxed. If you need any props here, any blankets, any pillows, any supports for your body to be completely comfortable, go ahead and grab them now. As we start to release our body into the floor, trusting in the supports beneath us, trusting that the floor will hold us and we no longer need to hold any parts of our body tight. We can let go. It is safe to let go. It is safe to trust. I want you to notice how your body is feeling now after having moved her, after having been conscious of her and not caught in the thinking mind. Notice how she feels now as you relax onto the floor. If there's any remaining tension, can you breathe into those spaces? And gently soften. Give yourself permission to relax. There's nothing left to do here but quiet in the mind and be in the body. Take your time and slowly roll to one side. Take your time coming back up, reminding yourself that there's no hurry. And slowly coming back up to have a seat.
Our intention for today's practice was to connect with gratitude, but also with forgiveness. Forgiving the body for not doing all the things we think it should be able to do immediately. And gratitude for the body for all that it does for us in our lives. And I'd like you to set these intentions going forward for the next week or so. Allow yourself to be conscious of these feelings. Notice when you blame your body, you get frustrated at your body for things it can't do, whether fertility related or not. And notice when your body does exactly what you ask for it and when you take for granted all the things it does, I want you to Take a moment, give yourself some gratitude and oh, be utterly thankful for this body and all that it does for you. And let yourself feel joy in those moments. Feel connected to your body. And give it the love and the gratitude that it deserves. And the love and the gratitude that you deserve. It is always an honor to share this practice with you. Thank you for trusting me with this part of your journey. Please reach out if you ever need. Namaste. Thanks again for joining me for this class. If you too would like a personalized practice like this one, so you would like me to design a specific yoga class that will be used therapeutically for whatever you've got going on, whether that be a fertility condition, whether you've had a really long struggle with infertility, whatever it is, I'll leave a link below for where you can sign up for my personalized yoga plan. These are super limited each month, so make sure you jump on board if you're interested in that one because they do sell out. Look forward to seeing you in the next class. Namaste.